Hey guys, it is Danny and welcome to this updates video on the tropics and in this video we're going to be talking about our Invest 91L which is currently located over the Yucatan and expected to emerge into the Gulf of Mexico and we also have Major Hurricane Larry which is a deadly Cat 3 expected to become a very powerful hurricane in the Atlantic. And so before I go into details... Alright, so let us kick start things with Invest 91L. So looking at the satellite view of it, here we have it and we actually have most of the convection being off to the east of the center of the system. So portions of the eastern Yucatan and Belize are probably experiencing some inclement weather as a result of this disturbance. And so it is expected to merge into the Gulf of Mexico tomorrow. So let's look at the five-day outlook from the National Hurricane Center. And so we're seeing here that it is given a 30% chance to develop in the chance has been quite stagnant at this for quite a while now and we see that we have this arrow pointing into that shaded region in the Gulf of Mexico so that means that development is not imminently anticipated but probably by the midweek or so we could have the system as it makes its way to the Gulf Coast getting in shape and uh, probably developing into a tropical cyclone but if it does manage to achieve tropical cyclone status it is likely to be something that's going to be very weak because there is going to be some unfavorable conditions setting in that are going to be preventing significant intensification so if you're in portions of the gulf coast i would say florida probably alabama as well you want to keep an eye on this because this system here regardless of it developing it could still bring some very significant impacts and it doesn't have to be strong for some serious destruction to take place because we saw what happened with Ida and Ida was an extra tropical system. It was just the remnants of the storm that were moving through the northeast and that resulted in some widespread devastation. We saw uh, images and videos, especially in New York, so it doesn't take a very strong hurricane or tropical cyclone to cause significant damage. It can be as weak as a depression. And so now let's go on to major hurricane Larry. So looking at the satellite view of it, Larry is is a very compact hurricane but that eye is quite ragged right now but as time goes by we're expecting it to look a lot better and we don't have a whole lot of convection being in the eye wall of the hurricane but as time goes by it is going to be intensified and it could have peak winds of around 145 miles per hour I wouldn't be surprised if it is a little stronger than that and uh, fortunately it's going to be out to sea for most of its lifetime but if you're in Bermuda you might be affected so let's go on to the cone forecast from the National Hurricane Center. And so we're seeing here that Larry currently has sustained winds of 125 miles per hour, which makes it a high-end Category 3 hurricane, and it is accelerating to the west-northwest at 15 miles per hour. So it's going to be well away from the Caribbean. However, it is likely to kick up that surf, so you want to avoid being at the beach for the time being because uh, these rip currents can be very, very dangerous. And so it is going to be remaining a major hurricane throughout most of the coming week, and we see that Bermuda is in the cone forecast for the system so if you're in Bermuda you want to keep an eye on this because it is likely that Larry is going to be a major hurricane when it is making its way by and so there is a slight chance of landfall but all of our models are agreeing that this system here is not really going to be making its way directly over Bermuda so that would be the best case scenario and some weakening is anticipated so even though it is expected to be a major hurricane it isn't going to be as strong as its peak which is probably going to be sometime early next week when it peaks at around 145 miles per hour so it is likely to be a bit weaker than that but still a major hurricane so if you're in Bermuda you want to keep an eye on Larry as it is going to be making its way by sometime by the midweek and so looking at what our models are forecasting in terms of the maximum intensity we have most of the models agreeing that this is going to be remaining a major hurricane for a while and we have a lot of them expecting that it will become a category 4 which seems very likely and we have two models showing a cat 5 here so this is certainly not impossible but the best news in terms of this system is that it is not going to be making its way to anywhere imminently so that is some really good news because a hurricane of this intensity making landfall is absolutely catastrophic so fortunately it's going to be offshore and so now let's take a look at conditions that are persisting across the basin so first up ocean temperatures so we're seeing here that the Gulf of Mexico is quite favorable as expected as well as out in most of the main development region the Caribbean in the vicinity of the Bahamas so 
so ocean temperatures will be fueling Larry as time goes by and also that disturbance expected to emerge into the Gulf of Mexico but the only struggle it's going to be having is in terms of the shear because the shear ex is expected to kick up and is expected to be that inhibiting factor when it comes on to a development so that is why significant development is not anticipated of the system but as I said earlier regardless it is going to be bringing some dangerous conditions some heavy rainfall probably some gusty winds as well to portions of the Gulf Coast of the US. And in terms of the wind shear now, so we have the different colors here meaning different shear intensities. So we have the green that means favorable shear, the yellow means neutral, and the red means unfavorable. So looking in the vicinity of Larry, we do have a bit of unfavorable shear uh, up to the north of the system and that is going to be helping it to not intensify very very quickly, but gradual intensification is anticipated of the hurricane. And so in terms of the Gulf of Mexico, we do have unfavorable shear being in the northern portion of the Gulf and uh, the shear is something that changes uh, quite quickly so we could see some improvement in the shear as time goes by and conditions could be a bit more favorable to support development of 91L. And so guys, we are now approaching the peak of the hurricane season and the 10th of September is that date that is used to mark the peak time. And so looking at this map right here, this shows the typical tracks and origins of our tropical cyclones during the month of September and we have a lot of activity. So that outermost track right there is somewhat similar to the track Larry is taking. It's going to be curving out to sea fortunately, but we see that during the month of September we typically have storms making their way into the Caribbean and developing, going into the Gulf, uh, going a bit north of the Caribbean headed to the US, or they may just curve out to sea. So we have to really wait and see what is going to be ahead of us from this point onwards. But one thing for sure is that more tropical cyclone activity is anticipated. And the next name to be used for this hurricane season is Mindy. And so I wouldn't be surprised if we have quite a few systems becoming named storms this month because things are expected to get quite favorable and this could even prolong into the month of October because we saw that last year and as far as November we had two major hurricanes Eta and Iota so we'll have to wait and see what's going to be the eventual outcome with this hurricane season but if you're in regions that are usually affected such as the Caribbean along the Gulf Coast or in the Bahamas or even in along the east coast of the US you really want to be cautious and ensure that you have all your plans in place so that should in case your area is affected by a tropical cyclone you won't feel very major impacts and you have your plans that are set so if you need to evacuate you know that you will do so and things will just flow smoothly but hopefully things don't get too bad from this point onwards and so that is it for this update video on the tropics and so if you found it to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments or as a question i will try to respond as best and as soon as i can and just remember to always be otherwise and i will keep you updated as time goes by